What is going on guys? Today we're going to be going over another top 5 series and this one is going to be the top 5 pistols of all time in zombies mode only. So it's going to be the top 5 pistols. This was recommended by a subscriber in one of the comments so I like that. I hope you guys do comment the next series that you want. Hope you guys do enjoy and let's get into my top 5. So for the number 5 goes to the B23R which was first given to us in transit mode. It was first introduced in transit mode. Or you can say Nuketown. It was kind of introduced in both of them because they were both released at the same time. But technically in transit and it's a like a semi-automatic pistol. It shoots a three-round burst. And in my opinion, it's just an awesome weapon. Now at the number four spot was the newest pistol we've seen. Was the newest starting pistol actually. The Mauser C96. I think that's what it's called. If you pack a punch it, it's called the Boom Hilda. And it's pretty awesome. It kind of took the place of the M1911 in Origins. So if you want to use it, download Apocalypse and it will be the starting pistol in Origins. It's an awesome pistol. And also it just it's fun to use and I just do enjoy using that pistol. It's kind of new, so it's something new that we can use and it's not the same old thing. Next goes to an old pistol. It's the Python from Black Ops 1 which was introduced in um Kino der Toten. I usually um, used it most in Kino. When I used it, it was awesome because it's a one shot to an extremely high round. I've never pack a punched it, but even on round like 20, it was still good to use because you'd be able to use the pistol and it would sometimes get you out of situations. And in my opinion, it was awesome. So it, if you use the Python from Black Ops 2, it's kind of the same thing, but I like the one from Black Ops 1. For the number 2 spot goes to the dual wield CZ-75s. If you haven't used these yet, they're insane. They kind of, it's the dual wield of the original CZ-75 in Black Ops 1. You can also get these in, in Kino der Toten. So they're wicked fun. They're obviously two of them. It's kind of like the 5.7s, just CZ-75s. Honestly, the CZ-75 is 10 times better than the 5.7 in my opinion. So that's just my number 2 spot. Now for the number 1 goes to the best thing that... I've ever used for a pistol is the original M1911 from Black Ops 1. They're the same, it's the same exact thing as the Black Ops 2 one, except it has a different look and a different sound. And in my opinion, I like the Black Ops 1 version better. You may think differently. And when you pack a punch it, it makes the awesome Mustang and Sally's, which is on the front cover of the Black Ops 1 game. So it's him holding the Mustang and Sally, and it's also if you pack a punch the M1911, you will get the Mustang and Sally's, which are two explosive pistols. If you haven't upgraded those yet, I'm sorry for you. You really haven't played True Zombies. If you haven't had one experience with the M1911's Pack-A-Punch to the Mustang and Sally. But in my opinion, that is definitely my top five. If you guys do agree with me, make sure to leave that down in the comments below. Make sure to leave me down your number one favorite pistol of all time. It can be the Pack-A-Punch version or the regular version. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. And... Again, make sure to leave the series that you guys want to see on my channel, the next top five um, video that you want to see. It could either be the maps, the perks, like we already did the perks, but the best perks. It could be anything, but it has to involve zombies in it. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. It would be very much appreciated. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.